Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing you a top 5 E-Tech weapons in the game. The things I took into consideration when making this list are applied damage output, ammo efficiency, usability, the amount of characters able to make use of the weapon, gear and site dependency, and how situational they are. Uniques and legendaries were excluded from the list due to them being obtained differently. And this is a list of, of course, of my own opinion. I did test every single E-Tech in the game, uh, but these items are interchangeable based on your own personal preference. First up, the Splasher Blaster Bandit Shotgun. I will say Bandit surprised me when testing these E-Techs. Uh, with the assault rifle being very close to the top five, and with this shotgun beat it out with its strong crowd control. The shotgun worked well with pretty much every character, however I found it's best on Krieg with his massive mag sides and firing bonuses. Matching the shotgun with crowd control items such as Converge and Singularity Grenades made it a monster, though it didn't quite match up to the other four items on the list. There's certainly an underrated weapon. My only problems were its single target damage was fairly low, ammo efficiency, and the ability to hurt yourself with it. Next up, I've got a massive surprise, and that was the Dull Railer. Out of all the sniper rifles, this one I expected to be the worst, but it actually had the highest damage output while maintaining some usability. The Hyperion Sniper was a close second, but its sustained DPS just couldn't match the Dull Railer for some of the beefier enemies, such as badasses, Goliaths, and Nomads. The Railer also has a unique ability that also allows it to shoot through the Goliath's helmet, which took me by surprise when I was testing. I didn't think that was a thing, but apparently it is. Uh, this one is accurate, powerful, non-slag or ability dependent, and relatively easy to use. My only complaint is ammo efficiency, though not the worst of all the sniper rifles, certainly not the best. Uh, number three was tough, because both three and two on this list were very similar and very close. I can imagine you know what they are. Uh, however, I chose to land the top near in third. Topnir is known for being an extremely powerful Norfleet substitute. It has uncontested crowd control and wide area damage against lots of enemies. Its single target damage, though, was quite lacking, so it's only truly viable against lots of smaller opponents. Larger, beefier enemies such as badasses needed slang and abilities to take them in a reasonable amount of time, and I found myself needing to fire lots and rockets to bring down even basic enemies. However, when paired with a good sham, it can get infinite ammo. You can main this top near as a primary weapon, and that works, but in most situations, you're not doing that fairly gear dependent, which is why I put it in third and not second. The second place, uh, which is the PBFG. Now this is double the damage on each rocket to the top near and works virtually the same way. It can obliterate smaller enemies in a single shot even without slag and larger enemies in one or two with slag. Its ability to quickly down the larger enemies um, with or without slag is an all-round perfect replacement for the Norfleet. It's incredibly high DPS, which is why I recommended this rocket launcher for Hyperius in my Hyperius guide. And this one just felt better at getting second wins just because of its ability to take down the larger badass enemies in a short amount of time. Finally, at number one, unsurprising, powerful on pretty much every character against a, nearly every enemy, very stable, easy to use under sustained fire, the Hyperion Plasma Caster. This thing has incredible DPS and is all around one of the best SMGs in the game, sitting very close to the Tattler. Now, I don't really need to explain this gun. It's got splash damage, which is boosted by grenade skills for Axton. It's got S it's an SMG for Maya, uh, accurate hit fire to make use on Salvador, high damage to suit Gage. You get the idea. <laughs> it's an extremely powerful all round weapon from normal mode all the way up to OP8, which is why it sits as, I would say, the best all-round E-Tech weapon in the game. Now, I will say there are some other E-Techs that surprised me. The Vladoff and Bandit Assault Rifles were very powerful, and I have a separate video for one of the other E-Techs, which didn't make this list due to only being effective on one character. But when I say effective, I mean it. It was a monster, so look forward to that. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.